Hey guys, what's up, it's Annie, and welcome to a brand new video. So today, I got a big box from Canada for my friend Brendan. I need to buy it. He wanted me to try some more Canadian candy, and I also gave him some Norwegian candy. The link will be in the description below if you want to see that video. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. You don't wanna be high like me. Never First off, we have a letter. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Oh, uh, I hope you enjoy the candies I have chosen for you. I kept them quite strictly Canadian. Can't even read. Except for Aero, but I really wanted to try them anyway. Thanks for being such a great friend to me. Have fun tasting, stay amazing, and say hi to your pugs from me. Hi from Brendan. <laughs> I honestly think she says hi back. Now let's get started, shall we? By first eyesight, this is what I see. Let's have one. Oh, these are good. Uh, it's supposed to be strawberry, I guess. On a scale from one to five, I think I'd give this uh, four. Next off, we have uh, hickory sticks. What is this? Oh, it smells exactly like, uh, oh my God, what is it called? Uh, we have this in Norway too. Just called something else from a different brand. Like literally, it smells exactly the same. What is it? What is the flavor? That's a good question. It literally just says seasoning. It doesn't say anything about what it is. Living for the potatoes with the seasoning. Hickory sticks will get five out of five. Next off, we have Oh Henry. Honestly, that just sounds really British. So this is what Oh Henry looks like. This reminds me a little bit of Snickers, but it's uh, different. This is actually quite good because usually I don't really like the chocolate from America slash Canada but this one was actually quite good. I'll give this a four out of five uh, due to the fact that it's it, something's missing. I don't know what's missing but something's missing. Now I really feel like trying a beverage so let's do this one called Crush Cream Soda. Shake it up, shake it up. Ooh, that's probably not a good idea. Sorry, my voice is almost gone, but I went to this instructor's course thingy for 20 hours and I spoke really loud and now my voice is almost gone. Anyway, let's crush it. It's almost like a combination between something we have in Norway called uh, like Christmas soda, which is like just a basic red soda. It's also mixed with uh, Something sweet, probably cream. 10 points for the description there. But yeah, anyway, the crush will get a five. Anyway, next up we have these two, which are the same thing. Aero bubbly chocolate with mint, and this one is the original one. So I wanna try the mint one first because mint chocolate, ugh, hate it. I will give it a chance. I will give it a chance. <laughs> mint chocolate reminds me of when you're brushing your teeth, then you just find a random chocolate in the fridge and you're like, I like that. And then you just fucking, and then, and, this is the creation of the fucking mint chocolate. Can you see that? It looks so gross. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Since one is the lowest, I will give it one. <laughs> now over to the original arrow. I have high expectations for this one. It looks so cool and bubbly. Definitely better. The chocolate, on the other hand, tastes like the ones you get in the Christmas calendars in the store for like 10 Norwegian kroners. I feel so bad for judging you guys' chocolate. It's just that the chocolate we have in Norway is completely freaking different. I'll give the Aero 4 out of 5. Old Dutch ketchup flavored potato chip. Because there's more than one potato chips. Oh. Yes! That is just so freaking good, I cannot even handle this. Canada, you for sure know how to make chips. This is without doubt a 5 out of 5. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Marshmallow and caramel covered in milk chocolate. Let's try it, I guess. Never had anything like this before. That is actually so cool. Mark my words, cool. What? How can a chocolate be cool? Uh, the chocolate uh, in this one is way better than the previous chocolate from the Aero. I honestly think I'll just give it a five out of five because this one is actually so good. Hopefully the next one will be as good. This one is called Coffee Crisp. Is this a freaking brick or what is this? Anyway, let's just stop hitting the chocolate and try it. This reminds me of something. Um, 
The thing is, I've had something similar. I think I'll give it a four because again, the chocolate is not on point. Now I've been waiting a long time to try this one. It says Fawildirable. Savor dinner ball. <laughs> and if you read the English sign, which I apparently did not do, it's called maple leaf and maple flavor. It's a cookie. This is how I usually do it. I just stick my finger in there and I just do this and this. And it opens up perfectly. This actually really reminds me of uh, the toast I usually eat in the morning with a combination of something incredibly sweet. It's a combination of the maple syrup and the biscuit which, make, which makes this really sweet. I think it wasn't like the best thing I've had, but I think I'll give it a three. Now over to the next one, which is this one, which is called... Okay, this one, what the hell? Um, Mr. Big. Oh, okay. Um, it looks like this. This is like all the chocolate bars ever combined to one big one. To one big one. <laughs> to a big one. It has rice puffs, it's covered in chocolate, it has caramel. Like, everything's in it. It's like the ultimate chocolate of all time. So, I'm gonna give it a four. Pick a pop orange. What the hell is pick a pop? It tastes like Solo! The Norwegian soda called Solo. Solo is one of my favorite sodas ever, so I will have to give Pick a Pop Orange a 5 out of 5 for its great and original orange flavor straight from Norway. Next one is this. What is it? <laughs> this. Crispy Crunch. Oh, peanuts again. Uh. Oh my god, no, no. It tastes like Reese. The only thing I like about this is the idea. And because the idea is good, I will give it a 2 out of 5. But holy crap, this is bad. Uh, Kraft Dinner Original Macaroni and Cheese. It's like freaking, what time is it? It's so late right now, so I can't do it right now. But I think I will save it for a video. Just an entire video dedicated to this. Kraft Dinner. Anyway, next thing. It's like, oh, oh. Okay, anyway, it's like, what is it called? Chocolate treats, and it's Christmasy, Christmas balls, balls, balls. Oh, the chocolate. I don't like chocolate from Canada. Oh my God, it's it's like good in the beginning, but then after you chew it for a while, it starts to take, taste. Oh my God, my English. <laughs> okay, the flavor starts getting worse and worse. That was my point. Anyway. <laughs> I'm so funny, but I think you should eat some more. Okay! It looks like someone ate corn and chocolate, threw up and mushed it together. Great! Oh, and it's soft. You! what the hell? This one is soft. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm gonna throw this away, be right back. Okay, I'm back again. Anyway, I don't have much left. In fact, I only have two items left, which is this licorice and uh, a lollipop. I think I'll go for the lollipop first since it's like Christmas themed. Look how cute it is. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god, come on, that's a mess. Oh my god, I like this. For you Norwegians out there, this one tastes like the jelly beans. Gump. I'll give the cute little snowman a 5 out of 5. And the last item for today is laces. I don't know if you can see what's here, but it's like drinks and shoes and muffins and yeah, a lot of things. 10 things you can do with laces, part 1. Use it as a mustache. Okay, now this is just getting freaking ridiculous. Let's eat it. This tastes like strawberry. It is good. Uh, if I were to rate this, I'd give it a 5 out of 5 because I love uh, licorice. I'm just gonna go to bed right now. Just like this. With my chips. I'm gonna sleep. And I'm gonna eat. Anyway, so that was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Like I mentioned previously in the intro, uh, 
I sent some Norwegian candy to Brendan as well, so if you want to go over to his channel and check out his video of him trying Norwegian candy, that would have been super dope. And make sure to leave a comment saying that I sent you. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys as soon as possible with a brand new video. KP's bye!